Hello, Ellie here from Thankful Flow Yoga. Thank you for joining me for another practice. Mm -hmm. Today's flow is suitable for all levels, including a beginner. I'm going to give lots of options throughout um, as we go through. This is going to be a calming and restorative practice. I'm currently filming this practice in about 29 plus degrees heat, which is what has inspired me for this slower and stretchier practice. Um, but wh whatever kind of climate you're doing this in, or um, you know, it's a great wind down, basically a great way to just connect mind and body, slow down a bit, open up the body <clears throat> and move through some, um, some kind of lovely calming postures. So we're going to start today in a child's pose. So come in onto your mat. And for child's pose, we exhale. So breathe out and sit your hips down towards your heels. That's just a gesture of where they're heading. And then you're going to melt your forehead and your chest down towards the mat. The arms can either be stretched out in front or if you want to bring them to the side of the body, you can. And try and make sure that your forehead is connected to something here. This helps us to connect to the energy center in our forehead and can help to connect us to our parasympathetic nervous system. So whether your forehead is touching the mat, maybe your hands, you can have it on a block. Closing the eyes or taking a steady gaze. And starting to breathe into this space. Notice which parts of your body are moving as you breathe in and breathe out. Send that message to the body to give permission to relax and let go. You are held and supported by the ground that is beneath you. You do not need to hold on. You can relax. You have permission. You can come back to a child's pose at any time that you want to throughout your practice. And then reaching the arms out in front in your child's pose, if you hadn't already, and we're going to try and stay low still here. And walk your fingertips over to the right side, finding that lovely stretch into the left side of the body. Staying with your breath, try and relax the head. Walk your hands back into center and then over to the left side, stretching into the right side body now. Just keep noticing your breathing, bring your awareness back into the body and back to the breath. Really using our breath as an anchor to help us ground, come back into the present moment. And then walking the hands back to center. Gonna inhale, open the eyes and walk the hands in, draw the belly in as you come up. So meeting in either a kneeling position or if kneeling doesn't work for you, just bring the hips down. You can be cross-legged, legs out in front and the right fingertips are resting on the right side and we're gonna inhale, sweep your left hand up to the sky, lift your ribs away from your hips, exhale, stretch over to the right. Keep breathing into the left side body. And 
Release the left hand back down to the mat. Inhale, sweep the right fingertips up to the sky, reaching the crown of the head to the ceiling. Exhale, coming over to your stretch, over to the left side. So stretching into the right side body. Remember what I'm doing might look the opposite way to the way that you, you are because of the screen. So it really doesn't matter. We're, we're gonna even out both sides. So just listening to my voice as well as watching. <laughs> and release the right hand back down to the mat. And now walking the hands back out, finding an all fours position. So this is our tabletop position that we're coming into here. So we've got the shoulders above the wrists and hips above the knees. So check that alignment first. And then on your inhale, start to send the gaze out in front and open across your chest. So moving into some cat and cow. On your exhale, you're gonna drop the head, draw the belly in, round the spine. Inhale, lift the head, open across that heart space, heart shining forwards. Exhale, head drops down, belly draws in, rounding. And last one, inhale, lifting the gaze, opening across the chest. Exhale, drawing the belly in, tuck the tailbone under, lift up and out through the shoulders, rounding the spine. Well done, and come back to neutral. Take a gentle rock back and forth in tabletop here, just massaging into the wrist. And then meeting in stillness, tuck your toes under and on your exhale, press the mat away with your hands, finding your downward facing dog. If this is too much for you or you're not feeling this today, then come to a child's pose. You are on your downward facing dog, press the mat away with your hands. Arms are strong, so imagine that you're hugging your arms in towards the ears, triceps are rolling down. Lifting up and out through the shoulders, hips coming to the sky. Legs don't have to be straight, legs can have a bend, heels don't have to be touching the mat. Focus on the spine, focus on how the posture feels rather than how it looks. Notice anything you can feel in the body. Or maybe you're noticing feelings in an emotional sense. Maybe you're noticing thoughts passing through the thinking mind. Just observing anything that's there. Everything is valid. There's no right or wrong here. And coming out of your downward facing dog. So bring the gaze between the hands and drop your knees back down to the mat. Untuck the toes. And then from here, we're gonna ground into this right hand and start to thread the left arm underneath. Make sure you bend through that right elbow and the left side of the head's gonna come down to the mat. Now, if that is feeling, as you come into it, be really, really aware of how it's feeling, especially with the spine, the neck, the shoulder. If it's not feeling right for you, it's too much, then do not force it. What you can do is sit the hips back or come into any seated position that you want and you're gonna take a twist. So left arm's gonna come to the knee or the thigh and you're gonna take a twist and take your breaths here. You're still getting a lovely spinal twist. If you're not in this thread the needle position, if you are, option to reach the hand up to the sky. Again, just an option. Again, be really mindful of the pressure on the head and the neck when you're doing this. So this won't necessarily feel good for everyone. So be, just listen to the body here as much as you can. 
This right arm can thread around, so it's coming around the back towards, or maybe to the left thigh. Again, these are all just options that I'm giving you today so that you can make the choice and choose what you need to take from this practice. And only you, only you will know that. And in a lot of most practices, but especially in this practice today, we're releasing tension from the body. That is what we want to do. Release and let go. So anything that doesn't feel like it's that, <laughs> then maybe trying a different option. So starting to come away from your twist. If you're coming out of thread the needle, ground through that right hand to support you as you come out. Really slowly come out of the twist as well, coming back to neutral. Nice, and take a gentle rock back and forth, just in neutral spine position, tabletop. And then we'll come onto the other side. So you could be taking a seated twist on the other side or taking your thread the needle. So grounding into the left hand, right arm threads underneath, bend that left arm, right side of the head comes down to the mat. Or you could have a cushion underneath it to support you and bring the ground higher. That could be a nice option as well. Reach the left hand up to the sky. Or you can keep it grounded. Maybe it's threading around, finding the right thigh. Bringing your awareness back to the breath, back to your prana, your life force energy. Unraveling now from your twist, rounding through the left hand, support for the body as you come away back to your all fours position on the mat. From here, keeping the elbows nice and tucked in as we do this, we're gonna lower the body down to the mat so that you're lying on your front. And bring the hands roughly underneath the shoulders, but you could leave a little bit more space here so they're not directly underneath the shoulders. And see if you can come onto the fingertips with the hands and we're gonna float some cobras. So on your inhale, roll your shoulders back, peel the chest away from the mat. On your exhale, release the chest back down. Inhale, peeling the chest away from the mat, opening across the chest. Exhale, float the chest back down. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, releasing. And one more, inhale, lifting the chest away. Exhale, release the chest back down and relax bring the elbows out to the side you can rest the head on the hands you can close off the eyes for a couple of moments here if that feels good for you allowing the body to soften feeling the ground beneath you noticing how the ground beneath you feels Does it feel solid? Do you feel like you have strong foundations beneath you, holding you and supporting you? Maybe it feels uneven. Maybe it feels a little bit up and down. Just be the observer. Notice what comes up.
And now bring a little bit of movement back into the body. I'm going to start to bend this right leg in. And you can either reach this right hand around if that's accessible to you. If it's not, you're going to use your, you're just going to use the leg and you're going to press the hips in towards the mat and find the stretch here. So it's stretching into the right quad. If you have a yoga strap or you have a dressing gown tie, it can be a little bit fiddly if you're doing it on your own, but you could always use the strap to support you here to bring that leg in for the stretch. Okay, but see what works for you. It's helpful with this one to have someone else there to hook the strap for you. <laughs> Just finding the stretch here and try and relax the upper body as much as you can. Release the right leg down to the mat. Coming onto the other side. So either bringing the left hand to the left foot and drawing the heel in towards the hips, pressing the hips into the ground, finding that nice stretch into the left quad, or you could be doing it without the hand or using your strap. Releasing that left leg now, letting it drop back down to the mat. We're going to come into, I'm going to offer frog pose for us now. So this is a really nice stretch into the hips. So a really restorative way to come into frog pose is to do half frog. So what we're doing is we're bending this right leg and this right knee is coming out to the side. And we're creating roughly a 90 degree angle here. And the knee is roughly in line with the hip. But that's a rough guide. If, if it's kind of, you know, a little bit away from that, that's okay as long as it feels right for you. So coming into your half frog position here and you are going to rest your body down on the mat. So you're going to take five deep breaths on this side and then five deep breaths on the other side. If you want to come into full frog and you're quite open in the hips or it's part of your practice, then by all means you can. So for full frog, you're bringing both legs out to the side at the same time. This can be quite an intense place to be. So just take what you want to take here. If you're in your full frog, you're taking 10 breaths here with both legs out. If you're in your half frog, once you've done your five breaths on the right side, just gently move over to the left side for your half frog there. Keep sending your breath into the hip space, into Svadhisthana, second chakra. One of my favorite <laughs> chakras to explore. very connected to our root chakra, our first chakra. The second chakra is all about water element, our flowing with life, our emotions, the creativity. We can often store a lot of emotions in the hips, in this hip space, this hip area. So 
So perhaps thinking about a gesture of surrender, a gesture of letting go here. Letting go and allowing the body to let go of whatever is not serving it. Whatever's not serving you. And starting to come out of your frog, whichever option you came into, bring the legs back in, resting here, just in a lying position on your front. And I want you to gently shift your hips from side to side. Notice how this feels. Coming back to stillness, we're going to roll over now or just make your way over. You don't have to roll over onto your back, the lying position. Lengthen the legs. No rush to get there. There is nothing else to do. There is nowhere else to be. You are exactly where you're meant to be right now. You'll start to hug your right knee in towards the chest. It's going into our wind relieving pose. You can interlace the hands around the shin or to the back of the thigh. Massaging the internal organs of the body. Keep the head and the shoulders resting heavy on the mat. Trying to work with some slow and soft breaths. And then from here, you're going to send your right arm out to the right side. So just lengthening the right arm out to the right side. And you can use this left hand and we're going to draw this right knee across the body over into a twist. Now, if this feels too strong for you, you can just bend both legs here and have the knees stacked and adjust your hips as much as you need to. And then start to send your gaze over to the right. So in the opposite direction to your leg. I say your gaze, but actually if you would like to have your eyes closed, then please, please do and just drop the head over in the right direction. And as you breathe in and breathe out on your exhales, I want you to imagine letting go of anything that is not serving you. So that could be physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever that is. It's just letting that go as you breathe out, watching it drift away. I'll offer you an affirmation with your breath, which you can either say out loud or you can say in your head or just listening to my voice. On your inhale, I exhale, let go.
Inhale, I. Exhale, let go. And the last one here on this side. Inhale, I. Exhale, let go. And now gently easing away from your twist. So coming back to your lying position on the mat. Slowly, mindfully making your way back, releasing that right leg. So both legs are lengthened. And then hugging the left leg in this time, taking the interlace around the shin or to the back of the thigh. Drawing the knee in towards the chest. Now bringing your left arm out to the left side, use that right hand and guide your left knee over to the right, finding your twist. You can either lengthen the left arm, you can have it in cactus if that works for you. And your gaze is dropping over to the left or your head is dropping over to the left. Bending both legs if you need to, and stacking the knees. And coming back to our gesture of surrender. Inhale, I. Exhale, let go. Inhale, I. Exhale, let go. Inhale, I. Exhale, let go. Slowly releasing from your twist, coming back to center, and just let both legs drop down to the mat and allow the arms to come out to the side, palms of the hands facing upwards. And this helps us to create more space across the chest. It can help to create more space for our breathing. And having the palms of the hands facing upwards is also this gesture of receiving new energy, receiving wisdom. So allowing your shoulder blades and your hips to sink down into the earth. We we'll need to soften all the muscles in your face working through every single part of your face, the forehead, behind the eyes, the cheeks, the jaw, tongue, the mouth, everything that's there has permission to let go and relax. Can you feel your rib cage expanding with your breath? Can you feel your belly rising and falling? 
Maybe there's sensations in the hands, the feet, or anywhere at all within your body, being the observer. Notice this space you've created. Notice how the body feels. Coming into this relaxation is a really important part of our practice. Something that I would always recommend because it helps us to absorb everything that we've just done, all the movement, stretching, strengthening, getting still and getting quiet allows us to really absorb this. Coming into our rest and digest part of the nervous system where all the healing takes place and where balance is restored within the body. If you want to stay for longer in your shavasana, now please, please do just let this practice drift away. If you're ready to start coming out, taking a little bit of movement into the hands and the feet, then we're going to roll over to one side, just resting there. Keeping the eyes closed if you can. And then from here, grounding the hand into the floor, help you, helping you come up, start to make your way back to a seated position on the mat with the eyes closed or gaze soft. Notion to bring your hands to heart center and Jali Mudra. And we'll bow the forehead down towards the hands as a gesture of our wisdom, meeting compassion at the heart. Putting the head back to neutral when you're ready. Slowly opening the eyes, coming back to the physical body. Namaste, thank you so much for being here and practicing with me. Please do let me know how you've got on if you want more of these restorative, uh, slower practices and um, there's more of these kinds of practices along with um, the kind of strong, stronger flows as well, all on my membership. So link below to that. And I hope that you are feeling a little bit restored and nourished. And I can't wait to see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.